Hello everyone. So it's been a bit of a minute since the last time you saw any of us, but with the announcement of the casting of Percy Jackson, um, I got a little excited and I ordered some merch um, from our dear Runny. She plays Rachel here on this channel, or I guess played past tense. Um, and I just wanted to do a little unboxing of the package that she sent me. I don't remember what I ordered and this is my first time opening it. So let's see. So it comes with a handwritten note that I will read off screen because we're friends outside of the internet and I do not want to um, read this out loud or broadcast me reading that out loud. But here's the inside of the box. It has like packing peanuts and some paper and it's very cute. And I love Ren. So it looks like I have a little Annabeth sticker. Also, Ren, I'm pretty sure does all of the art for these. Um, so that's really cool. So I have that. Um, <laughs> I ordered Percy's camp necklace. Let's look at how that looks. Oh, so pretty. Um, so all of this, I got most of this from her web store, which I'll link below, but this was only um, on her Etsy last time I checked. So I'm gonna check her store and um, I'll have links to all of this below but I will trade out my necklaces so we can see um I opted for Percy's and you know, Annabeth's because I did not want all of the beads that Annabeth has so I got his and I have brown hair so it feels a little more Percy up oh, the completed look kind of fake fan that I didn't have one of these before but whatever She sent me some Tessa wax melts. Let's see what they smell like. Oh, I can already, it already smells good. Ooh. I do not know how to describe scents to you, so I will not do a good job, but they're in a little heart. I think these are like more of a, like a sample tester kind of thing, but it smells very fresh and floral and like, sweet but not in a baked goods way it's like it's just like fresh i like that that's great <laughs> and then some nico look at this art i think it's so cute um the scents that she has on this are pomegranate darkness and death quirky very nico Ooh, these smell so good. Um, it's almost like a cologne, but not quite. It's still very much like wax in. But like, if my boyfriend wore this as a cologne, I would not be upset about it. I really like it. I like don't know how to describe these to you. Um, it's like more boyish, kind of like sandalwoody, but not that smell but like that same like vibe i hope that makes sense to you guys oh okay so that was nico um oh we have another tester this one is aelin you guys tell me this i have to confess is not a book series that i read um maybe i should because it seems like ren really liked it and i trust her judgment and her taste um Oh, oh, this one is, it smells like the ones that I get that are like trees. I can't tell if it's like the pine or the fennel or like which one. This one feels very Christmassy, but not wintry, I guess is more the vibe. Mm, that one's very nice. It's also more of like a boyish scent, but I like those better than super perfumey scents for wax melts and for rooms. Um, I think that they, 
just like feel better in the room. But that could also be just me. That could be just me. Okay. What do we have? Necklace. Ah. <laughs> Next is Percy. Little is little rip tie. There he is. Twins. Um, so this one Ren says is sea mist, salt, and sarcasm. <laughs> feels right. I just reread The Little Lightning Thief, which I filmed a video and might post it. I don't know if it'll be before or after this, but uh, filmed a very shitty video of me rereading The Lightning Thief for the first time in years. And I forgot a lot of like Percy's just like little boy <laughs> mannerisms. Like he's definitely a 12 year old kid. Ooh. This one is a little like sweeter, like baked good sweet. I like that. Um, I can get a little bit of the freshness of the sea, but maybe it's just because my nose is like tired from everything that I've been smelling. Um, there's definitely something a little sweeter in there. I like that. Editors, no, I was just watching that back. Um, it's like probably like baked goods like like to him I don't remember if it was the ambrosia or the nectar but it tasted like his mom's cookies like fresh baked so it smells a little bit like cookies but with other things that's all I cannot wait I just emptied out my wax melt to <laughs> put one of these in I don't know which one right now I think Nico no wait yeah, I think Nico will be the winner right now, but we have one more scent. No, two more scents. What's this one? This one is Zoya, another book series that I have to um, figure out. So, again, these little testers are so cute. They're in little hearts. Um, cleansing my palette. All right. Oh. This one's very fresh. It's more soapy than the others. Um, that's not a bad thing. I just like don't know how to explain smells, but no, I like it. Um, it's more floral. I think it's more fresh. It's definitely more of a perfumey than a cologne, but I like it. I'm so sorry. I wish I was better at explaining what these scents smell like to you, but maybe they're just like things you have to buy and the testers that have no notes for me to tell you about have them on her website for sure so you guys can check those out okay last scent we have is obviously annabeth um her notes for this are library lemon and logic cleanse, cleanse. um all right let's see what this one smells like Oh, I like this one. This one's so, it like definitely has the lemon. It's like sweet. And there's a little bit of like that vanilla e bakery sweet. I don't know what else to call it. Um, it almost smells like a cocktail, like that I'd order at a bar, but not in like a PTSD, like I'm gonna throw up because I was drunk kind of way, but more in a like, just like smells nice. So the scent that I was trying to place with the cocktail comment um, was rosemary. There's usually rosemary when I order a Tom Collins for some reason, and it smells like lemon, gin, and rosemary. Yeah, I think the dominant scent that I get is definitely like that fresh lemon, but there's definitely other things in here that smell very good. So the wax smells. They smell great. I cannot wait to put them in and while I reread Sea of Monsters, have them on the wax melt. Um, there should be one more thing in here that I have been so excited about. Like I said, um, oh, oh my gosh. There's a secret extra melt called Poppy. Exciting. That was an exciting find. I'll finish her off. This one's really good too. It's very, f very fresh, very sweet. If this one is like 
fruit flower sweet. It's very floral. I like it. I, it's just like me smelling these wax melts and you guys are like, oh, okay. But um, again, if you're intrigued by my horrible description, you can check out her website link below um, and see how she describes these. She sent me Zoya, Tessa, Aelin and Poppy. Um, when I told her what scents I like, I said I liked fresher and florals. So if that's how you would describe what you like, those would probably be the ones that she would recommend to you too. Um, okay. Now the last thing she can do oh, that is laying wrap. It's so cute. I don't know if this is like the bestie special or if this is how she treats everyone i would be surprised if this is not how she treats all of her customers um she's the best she's my fave and look at this shirt Ooh. it's so cute i think it's like more of a like subtle like i sometimes i don't want to wear this you know i'm just like out and about but this is like way more subtle and cute and so like the people that get it get it and the people that don't think it's just like a fun eclectic shirt um but it has like a lot of things on it and I'm also a New Yorker now I moved to New York um so some of the things like might just feel a little more touristy but it has Empire State Building a trident the Yankees hat um Riptide Blue Candy Blue Cookies you know strawberries from <laughs> Camp Bathwood all of these like just cute little things all over it. And I thought that the, the shirt was absolutely adorable. So I purchased it and I cannot wait to wear it. Um, so yes, yes. So that's everything. That's my unboxing from Ren and her shop. She reads a lot more than I do and a lot more popular things than I do. Um, I've been working my way through the classics. I just finished the picture of Dorian Gray. So if you want to talk to anyone about old books written millions of years ago, I might be your girl. Um, if you want to read books that are probably more entertaining and modern, um, you should definitely check out her TikTok, also linked below. Um, she is one of my favorite little book talkers. I am not good at book talk nor booktube, um, despite any efforts I may have tried. But yes, um, she is my fave. I am thankful for friends who have shops that are adorable, fantastic, show shop, show stopping, awe inspiring. Um, thankful for Percy Jackson being casted for us having this revitalization of the fandom just a little bit, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's let's see where this goes. Um, I think that's everything. So <laughs> if you guys like this, make sure you like and comment um, and subscribe. And if your question is, does this video mean that we're bringing the channel back? Um, I do not have an answer for you. We talk about bringing this channel back like probably once a year, if not once a month. Big difference between those, I know, but I can't remember. Um, so at some point, maybe, but also, who knows? <laughs> um, nonetheless, thank you guys for supporting us always, um, for being such a loyal and steadfast fan base. Um, you know, Percy Jackson fans are the reason why they're making a Disney Plus show. They're, we're the reason why all of this is happening. Um, so yeah, get excited for the content, make sure you stream it, and make sure that you check out Ren and her store and her TikTok and also um, our SPS TikTok um, where we don't really post, but if you ever feel like watching us like shit post, you can definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching for some reason. Um, and I will see you all next time, if there is one. <laughs>